Hi, this is Dr. John LaPuma from ChefMD, answering reader and viewer questions. Welcome to ChefMD video blog. This week's question comes from Mike in San Diego, California. Mike writes, delighted to see your recipe with buffalo. Our farmer's market has two vendors and our Whole Foods carries ground and buffalo sausage. Two questions for you. We grow, eat, and use local chilies for culinary medicine as well as pleasure. Good. Native lore teaches it's good for a cold. Do you use it in your recipes? And are you familiar with its medicinal and nutritious value? Second, I've been freezing all leftover veggie cuttings to cook and strain for pasta juice. If I don't boil, am I actually capturing nutrients in this water? Mike, interesting, complicated questions. Thank you for asking. I do recommend buffalo in small amounts because grass-fed buffalo especially is lean and relatively high in omega-3 fatty acids, lower in saturated fats, high in protein, and good for you. For local chilies, I think pleasure is part of culinary medicine. Yes, I love New Mexican chilies, and I use chilies of all kinds in my recipes often. I was privileged to work at Topo Bombo uh, for nearly four years in Chicago with Chef Rick Bayless. So I grew to appreciate both the flavor and the nutritional components of chilies. They uh, boost metabolism, add flavor, and have anti-inflammatory agents and lots of nuance. And so in your honor, I got uh, two kinds. One are these beautiful ancho chilies. And anchos are just dried poblanos. They're like raisins, but they're hot. So they're sweet and hot. Um, and that's a great characteristic for a chili. And then secondly, these are chipotles, which are smoked dried jalapenos. And both of these kind of chilies, as you see, are dark and have this reddish brown nuance inside. And that's what happens when they're dried. But um, they're dried from being green or red. Then they turn this wonderful dark color. Chipotles especially have this smoky, nutty uh, denseness to them. They're really fantastic. I recommend them. Your second question is about boiling veggie uh, cuttings. Yes, don't boil them. Um, by not boiling them, you generally retain more of the volatile, good-for-you compounds in vegetables of all kinds. Tomatoes are the single exception. You do have to boil tomatoes, or at least simmer them, to maximize the lycopene content because lycopene is a diamond-shaped molecule that's right underneath the skin of the tomato, and it's only released on boiling. Uh, if you add a little healthy fat to your tomatoes, you'll absorb it optimally. My suggestion for you is my Chili Chili Bang Bang with poblana salsa. Uh, it has three different kinds of chili in it. It's very low fat. It's a meal in itself, a vegetarian soup. And it starts with two large poblano chili peppers, which as I just showed you, are um, when they're dried, turn out to be anchos. Try it. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for writing and stopping by. I'm Dr. John LaPuma.